Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Photo and select a rectangle and create a rectangle design. Then go to the Gradient tool. With the Gradient tool selected, you can see now at the top, you've got this toolbar and you've got an option here for Type. I'm going to go with Linear. So instead of Solid, it now becomes a Linear Gradient. And you've got two stops, that's the default. And the colours you have will be very different. I'm certain they will be different. However, what you can do, you can also add stops to this. You can go along that line. You can see as you go along that line there, that central line, you can add little plus appears. If you move away, it doesn't, then plus. Now, just gonna add one stop there. That stop can be changed, that color can be changed. I can go there and I can also move it around. So you can see as I do that, the color changes anyway. So I can reposition it. To change colors, I think this is probably the easiest way. Simply go up here to this little panel here, click there. So click there and you get this same, you can see it's exactly the same gradient. What you can do, you can go to that stop and you see when you select it, it gets a bit bigger. You can move that as well and you can see it interactively changes there. But you also can go down here and you can change the color. So you can go there, click color, and I'm gonna go say with blue and it will change there as well. And that, that stop has become blue. You can go and add another stop there as well. You just go along that line and you can add, click. Now there doesn't appear a plus here. Appears a plus here, it's slightly different, you just, but you can click anywhere along this line, and just click and you can add a color stop. Now with these color stops, I'm not gonna add any more, but you could add 10 or 15. It does get a bit crowded. Unfortunately, you can't drag this panel out. It'd be really nice if you could. But you can still do all the various things as before. You can move things around. Also, you can go that one, say again, select it, it gets a bit bigger. You can change the color. So this time I'm gonna go with pink. Maybe select that one, and again, you can see it gets bigger. I'm gonna click there again, the color. And I'm gonna go with yellow, just so it stands out. But also what you can do, again, you can still move it. So you can see, move that, and that will reposition. So you can create a variety of different designs using this. You can also insert, copy, and delete. You can just delete it simply by just clicking there. Also, you can change the midpoint, and you can see the midpoint. This is the midpoint. So if I select that one, change the midpoint, and you can see that little there, that's the midpoint, and it will get sharper or more blurry. As you go to 50%, it's more blurry. Go further out, it's sharper that other way. And you can see as you change it, just change the graduation in the color, and you can sort of see even the green sort of, sort of appearing there. However, once you've done that, and you can continue with that. You can't remove the end stops. So the end stops, you can't delete, can't remove those. You can change the color though. You can select it and you can see it's just changes there. And again, click there and it will bring that up and you can change the color for that one as well. So once you've done that, you've done all your various changes, got everything done. You think, well, I want to save it. Now, if you go over here to the swatches and that's the best place to save the gradients, you'll notice you've got the color there. You don't want to save that. That's not much use. What you need to do is go over to the Move tool. So select the Move tool. And now, with the Move tool selected, you can now go over here and you can see the swatch is the same as that, that gradient there. And you can also, there's a variety of different, obviously, sections. You can put it, categories you want to put it to. But gradients is the most obvious one. So what you can do, just go down here, click there. And as soon as you do that, the first entry is just the one you've just added, which is weird. It doesn't add it the other way around. I'm not certain why it doesn't, but that's the way it adds it. And also you've got the recent ones there. And of course, what you can still continue to do, go to the gradient tool. You've still got this gradient. You can still click on here and you can say, oh, you know what? I didn't want that. What I wanted was black. So you've got a nice black design there. And again, select the move tool. So you've got this selected. You've got the gradient there, and you can click there. So click there again, and it's added again to this panel in that swatch. Now, what you can do, you can click through these. So you can see as you click through, and I'm not certain why Affinity Photo doesn't add more gradients. It would be very nice, because you've got a feature here. You can import and export, etc. But unfortunately, you can't sort of, doesn't come with any other additional libraries. It would be nice. Probably can find some on the web, maybe, I don't know. But still, so you can select that, and again, you can see as you go through that, change the colors there very quickly. Now, it, 
What you can also do, if you go over here, the gradient tool again, got that, you've got linear elliptical. So you've got elliptical there and you can reposition it so you can move it around. And again, you might decide, you know what, let's change some of the colors. So let's just go for that one. And I'm gonna go for, say white. So white there instead. Now, again, go over to the move tool. And again, you can see that there. What you can then do is you can click there. And you can see that is also stored as well. Now you can still use it as linear. So if you want to, you can click there, click there, and it goes back to linear. Click there, and you've got that gradient. You can always go over here to the gradient tool, and you can always say, you know what? I don't want it elliptical, I want it linear. It doesn't matter, it doesn't change it here. It just changes it on the active shape. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.